when I was a child, they sensed that there was something wrong because they could hear this strong noise coming from my chest. I remember the day of the operation in the operating room and I looked up and it was all these men looking down, there was students. And I remember the nurses and the anesthesiologists. And then the next thing, you know, uh, when I woke up, I was in a crib. When I said, Dr. Blaylock, I stand in awe and admiration of your surgical skill. But the really great day will come when you build me a ductus for a cyanotic child and not when you close a ductus for a child who had a little too much blood going to the lung. And he gave a sigh. He really thought he'd done something. Then he said to me, when that day comes, this will seem like child's play. In 1955, this seven-year-old girl was carried into the heart hospital by her parents for intracardiac correction of the tetralogy of Fallot defects. And the revelation that uh, open heart surgery could be carried out with a few lengths of uh, plastic tubing, some clamps and some oxygen had a explosive effect on the growth of open heart surgery worldwide. Prior to the development of this technique by Dr. Rashkin and his associate, Dr. William Miller, dangerous heart surgery was the only course available for the three to 4,000 babies born each year in the U.S. with this defect. Now that's the balloon being inflated in the left oracle. Now that's maximum inflation, and I'm going to pull it back into the right oracle now. You see that it's worth the world's fastest operation. Megan Adams Roswick was born with half a heart. Without medical intervention, the condition is 100% fatal. Also ahead, a baby born with half a heart faces a 100% chance of death. Given no chance to live, but here is a phenomenal story. It's a matter of life or death for some. At least it was for Megan Roswick. He said that this is the single worst defect that a child can be born with. If you imagine that this truly is just abnormal, plumbing, then we've got a structural problem, and structural problems lend themselves to structural solutions, reorganizing the plumber. So the, the people that reorganize structure generally are surgeons. And then, of course, Bill did fantastic stuff. It was, and it was tough because the, he did not have that, that enthusiastic following by the cardiologist, to put it mildly. Uh, for that thing about the hyperplast. And he really, it was tough, and he fought it through. And he had different, you know, there were different approaches initially that didn't work out and so on, but finally he succeeded. Good evening, everyone. A 14-day-old baby girl is fighting for her life tonight after receiving the heart of an infant baboon. It has never been done before, not successfully, and not on a patient so small. Doctors praised the so far successful transplanting of a baboon heart into the body of a baby girl who was certain to die. My options that were, were given to me were, you can leave her here and let her die, you can take her to Barstow Hospital and let her die, or you can take her home and let her die. I became uh, deeply impressed with the fact that we'd seen a number of babies with incurable heart disease, incorrectable heart disease, babies in whom you could only experiment uh, surgically with. And uh, it impressed me that what those babies needed really was heart replacement. I think uh, Baby Faye's legacy has to do with the hundreds of babies that are now alive who would not be on our planet uh, without her experience.